for Denis Villeneuve's epic sci-fi drama Dune, Part 2, Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya are joined by pivotal new characters played by Christopher Walken, Florence Pugh, Leah Seydoux, Anya Taylor-Joy and Austin Butler, who plays the villainous, psychotic, as Pugh's character calls him in the film, Phaedrotha Harkonnen. To get into character to play the menacing Phaedrotha, Butler, whom audiences know mostly from his Oscar-nominated role in Elvis, dons extremely pale makeup, black teeth and no hair or eyebrows. The Euphoria star added that it was her first time properly meeting and getting to know Butler. I was like, well this is one way to get to know someone, she said. But it was also funny because once you get to know Austin, you see that he's obviously very warm and very kind. From just five seconds ago, being this terrifying creature, and then being like, hey, how are you? Good to see you. Chalamet had similar feelings, saying his reaction to seeing Butler's look the first time was crazy. The Wonka actor recalled meeting him in a stunt warehouse to rehearse their fight scenes, saying he was both nervous and excited to work with Butler, especially having to do it in a pretty aggressive way right off the bat. In the end, though, Chalamet said that while his fight sequences with Butler required a lot of work, it turned out well. It was a lot of rehearsal. A lot of practice in L.A. before even getting over to Hungary, he recalled. But it was a dream. In Dune, Part 2, which comes from Warner Brothers Pictures, owned by CNN's parent company Warner Brothers Discovery, Chalamet's Paul Atreides rises to lead the Freeman people of the planet Arrakis against the oppressive Harkonnens, led by the ruthless Baron Stellan Skarsgård and his nephews, Glossu Rabin, Dave Bautista, and Butler's Phaedrotha. Dune, Part 2 comes to theaters on March 1st.